Arendo Donax's overwhelming abundance can greatly upset ecosystems and becomes increasingly costly annually by impacting waterways and competing with commercial fish species as well as decimating crop plants. Within the Santa Ana watershed alone, local agencies will spend over $20 million to remove Arendo Donax during the next three years. In addition, Riverside County's River Road Bridge near Norco was damaged by Arendo twice within the three years, causing almost $1 million in damage. Unlike native plants, which are adapted to survive Southern California flooding events, Arundo Donax plants break when subjected to rising floodwaters. Arundo surges downstream, combining with trash and other debris to damage bridges, clog river channels, redirect river flows, and flooding neighborhood areas. In addition, the plants wash up on local beaches, incurring high beach cleanup costs. This aggressive plant is becoming a major threat to many streams and waterways throughout California. While a majority of California relies on the Delta, us citizens of Ventura rely on local systems for our fresh water, including Lake Casitas and the Ventura and Santa Clara rivers. The Arundo has comfortably found its home in these waters and is consuming large amounts of available drinking water in order to sustain its rapid growth. As the state enters its fifth consecutive year of the worst water crisis in recent history, Drought from Southern California cannot afford to support a plant that uses three times the water of native species. It is reducing our groundwater and native plant territory. Here we spoke with Ventura Hillside Conservancy's Dashiell Dunkel about the effects of Arundo Donax. Even though it was planted for steam, stream bank stabilization, it does not do a very good job of stabilizing stream banks. And during high flood events, it will actually um, tear, out, tear out of the bank and move downstream with the flood. And because Arundo produces so much biomass, because it grows so quickly and there's so much of it, it can actually end up damaging streams and, um, and having problems with the infrastructure downstream. In spite of the serious threat that Arundo poses to our streams, it can be controlled. The easiest and most economical way to control Arundo is to treat it early before it becomes well established. 